The breakdown of proteins within the cell is a process called proteolysis. Proteolytic degradation allows for the proper recycling of materials, as well as the regulation of proper cell protein expression. Ubiquitination marks certain proteins, including short-lived cytoplasmic proteins and ER membrane proteins, for degradation into individual amino acids by a molecular machine called the proteasome. The process of ubiquitination can be summarized by four distinct steps. In step one, ubiquitin is activated. A protein called E1, also known as the ubiquitin activating enzyme, catalyzes the formation of a covalent thioester bond between itself and ubiquitin. This protein utilizes ATP hydrolysis to activate the ubiquitin molecule. In step two, activated ubiquitin is transferred from E1 to an E2 enzyme also known as the ubiquitin conjugating or carrier enzyme. E2 confers specificity to the ubiquitin. In step 3, E3, or ubiquitin li ligase, catalyzes the transfer of ubiquitin from E2 to a protein substrate. There are hundreds of E3s that confer further specificity to protein substrates. In step four, another ubiquitin is then added to the first ubiquitin to begin the formation of a polyubiquitin chain. Once four or more ubiquitins are added to the chain, the protein is successfully marked to be degraded by the proteasome. After proteolytic breakdown, the free amino acids are expelled from the proteasome for further use by the cell.